Hi friends. So to finally celebrate this unit, I thought we'd bring in some friends today. There they are. This book is called The Prex Textbook of Dinosaurs. Of course, we know that dinosaurs were real, but the reason why the, this book does not have photographs is because cameras did not exist when dinosaurs existed. Here are some dinosaurs we're going to read about in this book. What even is a dinosaur? Most people think of dinosaurs as big, ferocious, and extinct reptiles. That's largely true, but there are um, some misconceptions. That means things that people think they know that are not true. Dinosaurs came in all shapes and sizes. Dinosaurs were the largest land animals of all time, but a great number of them were smaller than a turkey. Dinosaurs ruled the earth for years until an extinction event wiped out all but bird-like dinosaurs. Scientists don't agree entirely on what happened, but the extinction likely was either a double or triple whammy involving an asteroid impact, choking chemicals from erupting volcanoes, sudden climate change, or possibly other factors. Most of the well-known dinosaurs, including Tyrannosaurus rex, Deinonychus, and Velociraptor, fall into the order known as Saurasian dinosaurs. These reptile-hipped dinosaurs had a pelvis that pointed forward, similar to more primitive animals. They were often long-necked, had large and sharp teeth, long second fingers, and a first finger that pointed strongly away from the rest of the fingers. Theropods walked on two legs and were carnivorous. That means they eat meat. Theropod means beast-footed, and they are some of the fearsome and most recognizable dinosaurs, including Allosaurus and T-Rex. Sauropods were herbivores. That means they eat plants with long heads, long necks, and long tails. They were among the largest land animals ever, but they likely had small brains. The gentle giants like leaf-eating Apatosaurus, Brachiosaurus, and Diplodocus are part of this family. Now that you have read some of the dinosaurs' history and facts, take a peek into this amazing book for a more detailed and amazing read. Tyrannosaurus, also called the T-Rex. Hmm. There he is. Tyrannosaurus was one of the largest and fiercest carnivorous dinosaurs that ever lived. Scientists believe that this powerful predator could have eaten up to 500 pounds of meat in one bite. His length was 40 feet long. He was 15 to 20 feet tall, and he weighed 5 to 7 tons. His diet, he was a carnivore, a meat eater. T-Rex ate large dinosaurs like Triceratops. It's showing that the size is like a bus. Wow. Okay, who's next? Allosaurus. I remember in the beginning they said they were in the same family. Here he is, Allosaurus. Allosaurus was the king of the Jurassic predators in North America. Powerful jaws held nearly 70 sharp and thick teeth. The claws on its three fingered hands measured up to eight inches long. Allosaurus did not have very large teeth or a very large skull, for an animal of its size. Because the bones of its skull were flexible, it allowed the lower jaw bones to bend outward and made a large space in its mouth for holding meat. His length was 40 feet. He was 10 feet tall and he weighed four and a half tons. He was also a carnivore and ate plant-eating dinosaurs like Stegosaurus and Iguanodons. His size is also like a bus. Ankylosaurus. There he is. Ankylosaurus rex was as large as a tank and nearly as hard to attack. 
even though it, they were slow moving and their tail clubs were not much defense against the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Their extremely tough armor foiled the eight inch long teeth of the king of dinosaurs. Ankylosaurus roamed across the North American West and snapped plants with its little leaf shaped teeth. It had few teeth compared to the duck billed and horned dinosaurs. Its length was 25 to 35 feet. He was four feet tall and he weighed four tons. He was a herbivore, so he had to eat a huge amount of low-lying plant material to sustain itself. So its gut must have been very large. He is compared to the size of a tank. The Apatosaurus. The giant di this giant dinosaur was one of the largest animals to have walked on Earth. Apatosaurus used to be called Brontosaurus back in March 1879, but is referred to Apatosaurus today. Apatosaurus nostrils were located at the top of its head. His length was 70 to 90 feet, and he was 10 to 15 feet tall. He weighed 33 to 38 tons. His diet, Apatosaurus swallowed stones to help grind up tough plant foods. It did not chew its food. Its size is compared to that of a tractor trailer, like a semi-truck. Velociraptor. Velociraptor was discovered in 1983 by British amateur fossil hunter William Walker. It was found in a clay pit located in Surrey, England, and was the first carnivorous, meat-eating, dinosaur found over there. Almost 70% of this dinosaur skeleton was found 30 miles south of London, England in 1983. That wasn't that long ago. Its length was 32 feet, its height was 8 feet, and it weighed one and a half to two tons. He was also a carnivore. Velociraptor is the only known dinosaur that ate fish and his size is compared to that of a truck. Parasauroplophus. There he is. Parasauroplophus had a hollowly, hollowly, bony chest on top of its long head. It was in the shape of a helmet, flattened on the sides. This duckbill dinosaur was considered a relatively fast dinosaur, being that it walked and ran on two legs. His length was 30 to 33 feet long. He was six and a half feet tall, and he weighed about five tons. This dinosaur is also an herbivore, a plant eater, perhaps eating pine needles, conifers, ginkgos, seeds, cycads, twigs, and magnolia leaves. Lots of different kinds of plants. His size is like about a stretch limo. Diplodocus. Diplodocus had a 26 foot long neck and a 45 foot long whip like tail. Its head was less than two feet long and its nostrils were at the top of the head. The front legs were shorter than its back legs and all legs had elephant like five toed feet. One toe on each foot had a thumb claw, most likely for protection. It has been determined that Diplodocus could not hold their necks higher than approximately 17 feet off the ground. So its neck was really heavy. Its length was 90 feet long, its height was 16 feet, it weighed 10 to 20 tons, and its diet was of an herbivore. It also ate conifers, ginkgo, seed ferns, cycads, um, bonatulins, ferns, club mosses, and horsetails. Its size is also like a tractor trailer. Monoclonius. Remember that um, the scientists who found fossils don't really know what color each dinosaur was, and this is their best guess. 
Monoclonius was a large early ceratopsian with a huge head that was held close to the ground. Its skull was six feet long from beak to frill. It had a small frill on its head with a single nose horn that pointed upwards and two smaller horns over the eyes. The short snout ended in a parrot-like toothless beak. But Monoclonius also had many cheek teeth. It walked on four legs with hoofed toes, had a bulky body, and a short, thick, pointed tail. Its length was 16 and a half feet long. It was 17 feet tall and weighed about 4,780 pounds. Its diet was of an, of an herbivore. It ate cycads, palms, and other prehistoric plants with its tough, hook-like beak. Its size is the same as a tractor. Pachycephalosaurus. Pachycephalosaurus is famous for having a large bony dome atop its skull, up to 25 centimeters thick, or 10 inches, which safely cushioned its tiny brain. The dome's rear aspect was edged with bony knobs and short bony spikes protected upwards from the snout. The spikes were probably blunt, not sharp. Its height was 15 feet. Its length was 15 feet. Its height was 17 and a half feet, and it weighed one ton. He was an herbivore, ate soft plants, fruits, and seeds. Its teeth were small and sharp, and he's about the same size as a giraffe. A couple more. Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus's tail may have been for heat dissipation. Oh, sail. His sail. It lived in a swampy environment near the equator during the warm Cretaceous period. The sail may have also been used to attract mates or seem bigger than it was. His length was 41 to 59 feet long. Its height was 5.7 feet long and weighed 7 to 20 tons. It ate the dead carcasses of other dinosaurs. It also ate large fish and eggs. It was the size of three elephants. So like a vulture, it ate things that were mostly already dead. Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus had 17 bony plates that were embedded in its back. The plates ran along the Stegosaurus's back and alternated in augment. The largest of these triangular plates was about two and a half feet tall and just as long. Stegosaurus also had spikes at the end of its flexible tail called phagomizers. Its length was 26 to 30 feet long. Its height was eight feet tall and weighed two tons. It was an herbivore. It probably ate ferns, smaller club mosses, cycads, horsetails, and bushy conifers. Its size is about a bus. All right, our last one. The Triceratops. When threatened by predators, Triceratops probably charged into its enemy like the modern day rhinoceros does. Triceratops is believed to have been a herding animal like the other Ceratopsians. So that means it lived together with other Triceratops. T-Rex most likely ate dinosaurs like Triceratops. Its length was 30 feet long. Its height was seven feet tall. It weighed six to 12 tons and it was an herbivore that existed mostly on shrubs, which are small bushes and other plant life. Its size is compared to that of a bus. I hope you had fun learning about all the dinosaurs today. Thanks for listening.